What's up, everybody? It's AJ with eTro.com. Today, we're at 370 Lakeside RV Park, and we're going to be checking out the Power Watchdog Smart Surge Protector. Now, this is going to be 30 amps, and why this is important is you never know how the power is going to be, the shore power, where you go to bring your rig, where you're parked. Maybe you don't go to the same park every single time, so you definitely want to test that power out before you plug in your rig. So, you can plug this in. It'll let you know if the power is good. You'll get three green lights. Good to go. You can plug your rig in, and you have power. Let's check it out. We're going to start at the shore power, just plug in our surge protector, and now we can flip the switch for the 30 amp. I'm going to kind of use my shadow so you can see the lights. You see the three green lights, that means the power is good. You have all the codes up here, so you can always look and see which one you have. You see the three lights, it means power's on, it's okay, three lights there. Right underneath the power on, we'll look at the next code, that's going to be the green light all the way over here to the left. If you just have one of those, that's an open neutral. If you have the two lights here to the right filled in, that's gonna be an open ground. And then if you have two lights, green, one red, as you match the code here, that's gonna be L1 and neutral reversed. If nothing lights up, then that means you're not getting any power whatsoever. And down here, if this lights out, they recommend that you call Hughes. The way we have it plugged in right now, it's just letting you know that the park side power is okay to use. Now, if something else was to happen, let's say there's like a rainstorm, thunderstorm, lightning strikes something and it causes a power surge or tries to overload the power system that they have, that's also going to be protected by the surge protector. Now that we know that the power here at the park is just fine, we can plug in our rig and then head inside. Inside, we can check, make sure we got power real quick. We'll run the microwave. Looks like everything is just fine. Another benefit to this surge protector is it actually has Bluetooth capabilities. So you can hook up your phone to it with an app that they give you. And that way you can monitor it from a distance. You don't have to go outside to check it. And you'll actually get alerts when the voltage is a little out of whack, a little high, a little low. It'll alert you to let you know something's wrong. This is what it looks like when the app's connected. You see, I've called it e-trailer, so we got the energy, and that's going to be kilowatts per hour. We've got watts, volts, and amps, and those are all going to change the more power you use in your rig. Now, when you first get it, you're going to want to add the device, so you'll hit this. It should bring up your camera, so then on the camera, you'll just scan the QR code that's on your surge protector already, so that's pretty easy, and it'll detect it. And then from there, you go to set device, go to e-trailer. And now you can set the min or maximum of the notifications you want. So you want to max energy, you can use the plus and minus. It'll change that. If you come down here to volts, I'll get notified if it goes under 104 volts. And I'll get notified if it goes over 132 volts. So either way, I'll get a notification on my phone because if it's at nighttime, I'm probably not going to be monitoring that or looking at that surge protector. But I definitely want to know if there's a problem so I can go out there and shut it off right away. I'm going to walk around the camper and just kind of turn things on so you can see the real-time data. You can see those numbers change. I'm even going to turn on the microwave. And this is going to be a similar option. This is from Camco. The big difference, though, is it doesn't have that Bluetooth capability. So if you had this plugged in, sure, it's still better than nothing, and it's still going to give you the codes, but you'd have to come out here and check it out. The convenience of having the power watchdog here and just getting that notification on your phone, maybe it's three in the morning, you're sleeping, you wake up and you see that something's wrong, then at least you know from there you don't have to come out here and figure it out. You can just monitor it from your phone on the inside, especially if it's raining. Another thing is some of these are one-time uses, so they'll protect you from that surge, but then it's done after that. You have to get a whole new one. The power watchdog isn't like that. It can withstand a couple different surges, and then you can also replace the little board on the inside that just plugs right in, so you don't have to buy a whole new power protector if that is to happen. You can get the same surge protector, just buy the little board that you put inside there, and it's good to go. We went ahead and opened up another power watchdog surge protector now this is the hardwired version so it's not the same one we have plugged in but it's going to be the same way to replace the board so like we said this can withstand a couple different surges so it's not like it's the first time it's going to happen but if something does happen eventually your board burns out it's easy just to slide this out unplug it slide the new one in and plug it in it's really that simple and i like the ability to do this rather than buying a whole new unit if something was to happen 
Some other details I really like about it, it's got this metal bracket that you can run a cable lock through, that way you can lock it up to the post, that way nobody can mess with it when you're not around. The whole thing is also rated for IP65, which means it's going to be protected against rain and dust. They're not going to bother it. And some of the other ones just don't even have an official rating, like that Camco one we showed you earlier. There's no IP rating on that one, so you just don't know what you're getting. It's also got strong, sturdy handles on the bottom and top side, so when you go to unplug it, it's going to be really easy to do. You can easily unplug that because these are hard, rigid plastic, so you don't have to worry about them bending or breaking on you just by pulling on it. It's going to last a long time. Overall, I was really impressed with the surge protector. You know, when we were first starting this video, I was kind of looking at it and being like, it's a surge protector, that's cool. But there's actually way more to this one. The Bluetooth capabilities really help out with that app on your phone. That way, like we said before, during a thunderstorm, 3 a.m. you're sleeping, you'll get that notification that the power, something's wrong, and you can do something about it. You won't have to just not know about it all night and then you potentially damage something. And that's the other part I really like is, yeah, it can protect against many surges, but if there was something to happen, you could easily replace that and not have to buy a whole new unit. So it's more of an investment. I kind of like that part too. It's like, oh, okay, so there's parts that I can replace and fix without having to, have to do it all over again. And you definitely want to have something plugged in because you're going to be kicking yourself if there is a back feed or a surge and you damage something on your rig because it's going to be far less expensive to replace that and put a new board in. Would it be to replace something inside there? Well, I think that does it. Thanks for hanging out and I hope this helped.